What's up, everybody? Happy Wednesday. Um, I wanted to come on and talk today about something that I've been thinking about a lot lately and um, I thought maybe some of you would be interested in, um, and that is wellness. More specifically, the dimensions of wellness and just kind of how to um, incorporate some things into your life that will just help you to live better. Uh, hashtag live your best life, if you will. Um, but you probably hear me talk a lot about fitness and nutrition um, because that is what I do for a living. Um, but there are a lot of other ways to live well and to incorporate um, just a balance in your life of things. Hey Shaq, what's up girl? Hope to see you tonight. Um, you can incorporate some things into your life, not just fitness, not just nutrition. Um, it's great to make those aspects of your life healthy. And a lot of, a lot of times when people think about health and being healthy and living healthfully, that's the first thing that their mind goes to is fitness and nutrition. Um, and while that's all well and good, there are a lot of other areas of our life that we need to be health, healthy in. Um, to live as a whole person and to really enjoy this life as fully as we can. Um, so before I get into it, I want to give you a little bit of background about myself. Um, I come from very much a fitness focused background. Um, I was an athlete my whole life. I always cared about uh, health, quote unquote, I guess. Um, I always watched what I ate. I always made sure I drank enough water. That was like even from a very young age, like when I was in high school and I was running track and playing sports, like it's always something that I cared about. Um, I, d I never really knew why, but it was always something that was interesting to me. So I went to college and I got a degree in kinesiology, which is studies exactly that, the science of exercise and um, just living well in that area. Uh, I went on to teach kinesiology and something that I always taught and promoted and talked about was this aspect of living hey monica hope to see you tonight too um this as this idea of living well from many dimensions of your life not just the physical uh and like i said it's something that i taught and that i've preached about and that i um knew or i guess always knew was a thing um but i never really fully grasped and incorporated into my own life uh until probably just the last couple of years. Um, it's like you understand something, but you don't really know how to fit it into your life. Uh, and so I wanted to talk about those things today and just give you a little bit of insight and some things um, that have worked for me that may be helpful for you as well. Um, so the seven dimensions of wellness. Um, so of course, fitness is one of them or the physical, physical side. So that's fitness, nutrition, keeping your body, your physical self. Brent, what's up? I miss you. How you been? I hope the dogs are well, and the family, of course, um, but mostly the dogs. <laughs> uh, so the physical side, so fitness, nutrition, keeping your body healthy, your body is your temple. Um, and all that we really know is that we have one of them. So uh, take care of it, of course, first and foremost, but there are, like I said, a lot of other areas. So physical, emotional, so your emotional well-being, your mental state, um, intellectual, social, spiritual, and when I say spiritual, I don't ne necessarily mean religious, but I'll get into details in a second, uh, environmental and occupational. So these are what we call the seven dimensions of wellness. Uh, and like I said, many people, especially in America, we focus on the physical. How do I look? How do I feel physically in my body? Um, so. I just wanted to give you guys some tips and how you can kind of make sure that every day you're checking off all seven of these. You're making sure that you're taking care of your physical body, your your brain, your mental state, your um, the things that you're doing in your life are uh, serving to you, whether it be occupationally or spiritually. Uh, you're doing things that that you care about that you that are going to give you a good and full life. Um, so. A few tips that I have and some things that I incorporate into my own life that help me make sure that I take care of all of these things are, of course, I exercise. You guys hear me talk about this all the time. Um, exercise is a huge part of my life, um, but not just exercise, quote unquote. 
Um, yes, I go to the gym and I work out, I run, I teach kickboxing for a living, I teach fitness, I've been teaching fitness for 10 years, uh, and it's always something that I've done. Even when I say, quote unquote, fall off the wagon, or I've been um, what I call out of shape for myself, I'm still somewhat active. Um, so the physical is not just making sure that you're getting enough exercise, but making sure you're physical in your life. So if you miss a day at the gym or you miss a week at the gym, you're not a couch potato. You're not just sitting around doing nothing. You have incorporated things into your life that make you physically active. Um, like, you know, simple, simple things like riding your bike to the grocery store or parking further at work so that you can move, just moving more throughout your day. Just be physical and pay attention to your body and the things that it needs. Part of that is moving but sometimes for some people, depending on how you move and how you are, for example, me, part of the physical side that I have to pay attention to is rest. Because I am so active and because I do teach fitness for a living, but I also exercise for myself, um, I have to make sure that I'm getting enough rest, that I'm stretching, that I'm taking care of my muscles. Um, so just pay attention, check in with your body and make sure that um, you're moving as much as you possibly can and incorporating that idea into your life. Um, and you know, when you do things with your family, when you do things with your friends, um, make that, make that the focus, make activity the focus. How can we, you know, the weather's about to get beautiful in South Louisiana. How can we get outside this weekend? What can we do, uh, to move more? So just move more. Journal, check in with yourself. Um, one very, very effective way to make sure you're taking care of your emotional, mental state um, is just, you know, reviewing the day with yourself. Like, how do you feel? Check in with your emotions. There's so many times where we go through life just 90 to nothing and we're not even paying attention to like these feelings that arise all throughout the day. There are, I read one time there are like, I think like 120,000 thoughts that go through our brain every single day on average. And if we just don't even pay attention to those and let them run just rampant in our mind, our emotional state is all over the place. So check in with yourself, whether it be at the beginning of the day or the end of the day, keep a journal. Um, it's, very, it's very effective to just be able to get what you're feeling out and kind of process that in the moment, but it serves a double purpose where if you are, you know, say going through a hard time in your life or maybe maybe you're having a really, um, you're, you're going through some really great things in your life where you're, you just feel like you're killing it, everything's kind of on point, everything's hitting for you, you can go back and reflect and be like, okay, well, what was I doing back in April whenever I was either really depressed or I was feeling really great or I just, you know, things were going right for me at that time. What was I doing? How was I feeling? Um, and you can use it as a reference to, you know, reintroduce those things into your life and, um, you know, and just continue to get back to that, whatever it was, um, or continue to move away from it if it was a bad time in your life and making sure that you don't repeat those habits. Use it as a release, but also use it as a reference. Um, read, so taking care of your intellectual state, continuing to grow, continuing to learn, um, I was very much a person that like I went to college and I loved school but whenever I finished school I was like okay I'm done learning no <laughs> you're not ever done learning like it took me a little while to realize that like just because I'm done with school and you know I'm on I'm in my career journey um, I'm not at the finish line I'm just starting my journey in my career and and part of that is continuing to grow continuing to expand on the things that I already know so read as much as you can whether it be fiction nonfiction just expand your horizons get out of Facebook unless it's educational <laughs> like this but you know just take your head out of the smartphone and off of the TV and just read something um, that's gonna stimulate your brain constantly stimulate yourself um, spiritual so like I said this doesn't have to mean religion I'm not a religious person by any sense of the word um, but I I do find myself to be a spiritual person um, I find a lot of value in routines and rituals and disciplines one of the disciplines that I have been 
And I guess, you know, to me, like I said, back then it was always fitness, 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 physical, like I'm taking care of my physical body. And I don't think I ever even realized that running, I started running track whenever I was 14 years old and I was good at it. So I continued to do it. And it's something I continued to do after I was competitive with it. But that is something that is never since I was 14 years old been absent from my life. It's a discipline. It's a ritual. It's something I do whether I feel like it or not. Um, whether I really need to or not, I do it because it's just part of my routine and it's, it's part of what makes me feel grounded. And for some people that's religion, that's going to church on a regular basis, or that's praying every day, or that's meditating every day. Um, or, you know, for some people it's practicing, say a martial art like jujitsu or, um, just anything like that. It's, just something that you practice and that you continue to work at uh, and it becomes ritualistic in your life. You need some type of discipline. Um, and like I said, that doesn't have to be religion, but for some people it is. Um, so find, find a spiritual connection through some type of physical, or doesn't have to be physical, physical, but some type of ritual, some type of practice and discipline. Um, environmental. So making sure that you are, well, this kind of goes along the lines of our environmental as well as social, but making sure that the people and the physical environment that you surround yourself with are lucrative to you and are not toxic to you. Sometimes that might mean cutting off relationships or setting boundaries for relationships or physically removing yourself from a situation that's not healthy for you. For example, if you work in a, well, this probably isn't an issue anymore because smoking is pretty much not allowed anywhere. But, you know, back in the day, if you worked in an environment where your coworker in the cubicle next to you smoked cigarettes and you are concerned about your lung health, move out of that situation. You don't have to stay there. Um, if you live, you know, next to a freaking plant that's spewing chemicals in the air, move away from it. Just now I went out for a run and they're doing some kind of construction on my road that's messing up the they're pulling up asphalt and there's a cloud of grayish black smoke in the air and i stepped outside and i was like mm, going the other way not about to run through that so just move yourself away from those either physical toxicities or relationship full you know social toxicities um and create a temple for yourself Create a space, whether it be in your home or your work environment or your social environment, create a space for yourself that is positive and that is uplifting. Um, I myself am very much an introvert. I don't like to go out and do many things. So I have created a very, very comfortable living room space and home space for myself. It's something that I'm very proud of. I worked really hard to buy my home and decorate it and do all of that. Uh, and I really take a lot of pride in my temple, my space. I feel good here. Um, it's where I meditate. It's where I do a lot of my thinking and planning and learning. Um, so create a safe space for yourself. Create yourself a temple. Um, and then, of course, the last one is occupational. Many people talk about this. Doing what you love. It's not normal to hate your job or to go to work every day and just hate what you're doing. Um, you know, I feel like some people get caught in the trap of, well, it's a job. Of course, it's not supposed to be fun or no, it's what you do every day. It's a third of your life at the very least, probably more, but, um, you have to go into your day looking forward to it. Um, so whether that be, you know, creating a situation where the job or the career that you already have you create opportunities for yourself to enjoy it more um you know maybe one of the things that you hate about your job is your commute so maybe you um, work out some kind of situation with your company to where you can work at home a few days a week or just anything make the situation work for what you need it's not a bad thing to ask for what you need and to put yourself first sometimes that means like I said, cutting ties or setting boundaries. Sometimes that means stepping up and asking for what, what it is that you need. But anyway, so those are the seven dimensions of wellness. And those are my seven tips.
six tips for <laughs> living well uh, and living your best life. Um, I hope that this information was helpful for you. Uh, if you found it helpful or um, interesting or entertaining in any way, let me know. Like it, comment, share, whatever. Um, so that's just my tidbit for the day, my wellness wisdom. I hope y'all have a good Wednesday and take care of yourself, not just physically, but all the things. Take care of all the things. You're important, you're worth it, and we only have this one life. So make it the best. Live your best life. Hashtag, I'm out.